this uh, originally belonged to my grandmother. I inherited it from her. She knew of my proclivity for watercolor. I'm an artist. Lovely. I'm also an art teacher at Hollyoaks High School. Go Acorns. You also believe there's something quite singular about this piece. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look. Oh, look at the delicacy of this image. It is a simple steak structure. The contrast of the colors just stunning that house in Hooker Green. Just marvelous. Do you know what this image is of? It's my grandmother's house in Tuscumbia, Alabama. It's Ivy Green, Helen Keller's childhood home built in 1820. The warm tone perfectly captures the familial love as Helen Keller guides Moonfellow's hand. Uh, Moonwalk who? <laughs> it's by Helen Keller. I'm, I'm her descendant. I'm sure this is her art. I'm very sorry to inform you, but this is not painted by Helen Keller. In fact, she did not paint at all. However, what you have here is far superior work. Really? It is by none other than Paulson Ray Moonfellow, channeling Helen Keller's spirit. For those uninformed, Paulson Ray Moonfellow here, he was a brilliant performance artist and spiritist. He's known for attempting to gain insight into the lives of the great Americans and that liminal space between art, memory, and mimesis. He not only painted as them, he became them and revealed them to us. Huzzah! It's a shame that he'll never grace us with one of his signatures. He abhorred the commodification of his art. That being said, at auction, his watercolor attributed to Elvis went for $2,000. His Marilyn Monroe piece went for four. I'd say this Helen Keller piece goes for five to six. Grand? Hundred. Wow. That's way less than Grandma said. Helen Keller wasn't exactly a pop culture icon. Her artistic impulses have a much smaller market. So thank you for sharing your treasure with us. <laughs>